Do I talk now? <laughs> Hi, it's Sienna from Curious Chicks, and today I'm doing a product review. This is called the Ultra. <sighs> this is called the Ultra Water Flosser by Waterpick. It can remove plaque and debris that traditional tooth brushing and flossing can't. But this isn't a replacement for brushing. This is to use in addition to brushing. But it could be a replacement for flossing because it can actually protect your gums and it's better for your gums. And it can also get to the really hard to reach places when you have braces and for implants. So this product um, I got at Costco is about $80 and it comes with a travel size that's pretty compact um, and fits in this little bag. So the first thing you would do is fill the roar. The first thing you would do is fill the reservoir tank with water. Six hundred milliliters or nineteen ounces on a date up to nineteen ounces or six hundred milligrams. The tank can accommodate up to nineteen ounces or six hundred milliliters of water. So this is the power switch and this is the controlling the water pressure. So you select your tip. The first one I'm gonna talk about is the classic jet tip. It's for everyday use and you replace this one every six months. The orthodontic tip for braces. The plaque seeker tip. The pickpocket tip. It's good for getting into the deepest parts of your gums and is good for those with periodontal disease. And finally, the toothbrush tip, which is also good for general use, but it doesn't rotate like an electric toothbrush and is only used for manual brushing. Damn. I'll use the... I'll <laughs> I'm going to select the classic tip. Click it in place. Turn on. Ooh! What a loud noise. And I'll select my power. I'm going to do it pretty low to start, because. I don't know what to anticipate here. And then I need to turn the on switch to start water. So here I go. Not doing anything. <laughs> it's not doing anything! I forgot how loud it was. To give you a sense of the variety of water flow, I'll try testing it into this cup so you can see the pressure. <laughs> well, as you can see, that gets really strong. That was up to 10, so that went from I guess 1 to 10. So it has 10 levels of water pressure, 10 being super hard. And when I just tried it right now, I was at a 2, and that was pretty good. It kind of got in between the gums, and the water was kind of cold, so I think that had an impact too. It kind of, my gums were a little bit sensitive, so you may want to put like lukewarm water or like a little bit warmer water, but I think you should just test it out at different temperatures and then different pressure. They tell you to not use this for more than five minutes within a two hour period. So there is a time limit. I guess the more that you use it, it is because it is so strong, it's not advisable to use it for too long of a period. Would I recommend this? I think it could be a good alternative to flossing. I I would need a little bit more practice to make sure the water is not flying everywhere. I think everyone else would need a little bit of practice and also experimenting with the water temperature, the water pressure, and the tip that they want to use to attack the problem areas that they have. But I think it's definitely something worth trying, especially if you have sensitive gums, and it may actually be more effective than regular flossing. So that is my assessment of Waterpix Ultra Water Flosser. If you're super into oral hygiene, I recommend that you try this out, and hopefully you like it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to our channel to see more videos.